Hi guys, I um I cut bangs. I love them so much. Oh, no one's not going to hear. Anyway, I'm trying I'm trying to get on that um Samantha Jones vibe, which I'm getting there <laughs> after uh, after Halloween. I do need my bangs for my Halloween costume, but. Anywho, um, I wanted to come on here real quick, <clears throat> excuse me, and talk about something that um, I struggle with a whole, whole lot. Just like a whole, it's like, it's a reoccurring struggle that I deal with often. Um, so like, it's Monday. And, um, I have a, an issue. I have many issues, but, um, it being Monday, this is kind of like when I'm faced with this. Um, so when Monday comes around, I usually don't have a whole lot to do. Cause like I, I have work on Tuesday and Thursday with my internship. And then I have... Wednesday is usually when I have, like, in-between stuff to do, work stuff to do, like, stuff with my client or our voice actor and stuff like that. So, um, Monday is just kind of the day after Sunday where Sunday you sit and you watch football and, you know, you have a couple of drinks or whatever. I try not to be hungover on Monday, but Monday is, like, one of those days where I'm, like, I have a choice to do and not everybody has this choice so I do um I do appreciate the luxury that I do have but and I'm getting to my point um when it's Monday I am faced with do I do work today do I you know like I have other stuff I could be working on um my client's audiobook I could be editing that. I could work on um, more YouTube videos because I have considered that. I could do my Instagram reels, um, which I'm having trouble with the creativity of doing that. And then um, I could like clean, like there's just like a whole thing that goes to my brain. And the last thing that's on my brain that I could like potentially Sorry, that is bothering me. I gotta move this. But I could potentially be doing. This is what I probably need to do due to the fact that on Saturday I was I mowed the grass and cleaned my entire house because my great aunt came yesterday and then kind of cut into football Sunday. So I didn't really get I don't have off days. I don't have because I'm kind of, you know, doing everything remotely. So I, I'm constantly doing everything on my own schedule and it it gets hard when I realize that I need to take days to relax. Like, I tried to paint my nails to have like a little bit of self care, and it didn't turn out very well because I did them at one thirty at night when I was supposed to go to bed because my great aunt was coming at ten o'clock in the morning. But and and I don't I don't get a lot of sleep and I don't take a lot of time to do self care. You know, like you do your your main stuff. You know, your skincare routine and your some people don't do those. Some people do. I think it just depends. But my point of it is, and I know I ramble on a lot. My point of it is, is that we do need to set aside days to have self care. And self care can be laying in your bed and watching Netflix. Self care can be um, cleaning with some fun music going or some relaxing music. I mean, it can be anything you want it to be. My idea of self-care is painting my nails and watching crime shows. <laughs> or um, I paint these little tiny pictures. Hold on one sec. I paint these because this is cute and it's themed for Halloween. I love it so much. So I paint 
this kind of stuff. I listen to music and I like to listen to Lana Del Rey or Amy Winehouse with a glass of wine and paint these because it's one of my favorite things to do in the world. And they're, they're so cute and they're so tiny. I love them. But those are my ideas of self-care. You can do whatever kind of self-care you need to do, but it, it, those are important to have one to two days, probably more than that, but depending on what your schedule is, to focus on your mental health and taking breaks and drinking water and, you know, eating good food that you enjoy or having a glass of wine every once in a while or, or beer or hard liquor, it's up to you <laughs> in moderation. But the point of it is, is that we do need to take time to have days where we just either don't do anything or do something that we like to do. Um, and I don't do that. I kind of had this realization um, recently and I thought, I need to do that more often. And my mom, especially since I've got this PR internship, it's not hard right now, but I know it's progressively going to get harder and if anything um worse on my schedule and so I'd like to take time oh that looks bad I'd like to take time to just kind of focus on things that I need to do for myself and making myself feel um like I'm getting my rest and stuff and I'm not just talking about sleeping but like just chilling out and just taking our mental health days because I have a big problem with doing that because I will lay down I don't know what that's called and I really wish I would have done a psychological study on it but I will lay down to like watch tv in midday or sit down on the couch to watch tv or whatever just to do nothing and my brain goes you know you should clean that or you should you know be up doing something else or what if other people are doing other things and you're not doing anything you're being lazy and so I think in my brain my brain is telling me oh and we're being lazy and it's not that I'm being lazy it's that I'm taking mental health days but I'm trying to retrain my brain to be like we need to worry about our mental health and our self-care more than we're being lazy so because when you work your work hustle and you're trying to live your dream and all this other stuff which I'm trying to do very very hard we also do need those off days and I feel like no one is taking those as seriously as they are the work hustle days so for me my off days would be Sunday and Monday because I am doing stuff on Saturday and it may not be work related but it is like related to my life um I should take those and take them into consideration. I should watch football and focus on nothing. <laughs> um, but instead, I I do other things that I that don't necessarily need to be done, and it's okay. And I think we need to train our brains to be like it's okay to have days where we don't do anything because in those days we are resting and we are taking time to recuperate. So when your work day comes you're ready to do that work you're re you're ready to take on that day and you need those rest days just as much as you need to work and that's kind of the point I'm trying to make <laughs> I rambled on for a while but that's that's basically what I think that um everybody needs to realize is that we need to take self-care days and we need to have days where we don't do anything because those are just as important as your busy days so remember that and take care of yourself because I love you guys and I hope that you guys love yourself enough to do this for you so just a thought 